then doing doing what he did for us. Okay, great. Okay, John, when Midnight passed away on July of 2009, did you feel that was the last nail on the coffin for the band? Well, no. We, I, I had always had aspirations to make another Crimson Glory record. I, I had hoped to do that with Midnight, because that, that, would, that, would, that would be the most logical direction and path that I thought we should take. And we were just hoping that you know, Midnight would get in better health and get into a better family, and you know, we could all work together again. You know, we, we loved Midnight dearly. And, uh, but it was very difficult to, to stay around for long periods of time because of the alcoholism and the issues mm -hmm. that he had in his life. And he had a way of dragging you into it. So in some ways, I've always kept him at arm's length, but I was always there for him to talk to him, speak to him, and offer him encouragement and try to help him, you know, better himself. You know, I was always pushing Midnight the hardest because I've always had, always had great dreams for Midnight to be, to be the greatest, and mm -hmm. more so than he even saw himself. And I, I was always frustrated because I always saw Midnight as having this great ability and ability to go on and become, a, you know, a mm -hmm. truly a, one of the great singers of metal of all time. And he, in retrospect, you know, he, he has, you know, he has made a name for himself, and he is a legend. Been about, I thought he could have been even much greater. He could have gone on to do much more great things with us and with and on his own. But um, so but when he died, you know, in one hand, I was very saddened by that because he, I'm losing not just a singer, I lost. You know, a friend and a brother. You know, it was a guy that I that we had all grown mm -hmm. up with. We, we started coming to the world when we were just teenagers. Yeah, so, that that news shocked the world. I remember about the the day I read it on 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 the net, and I was shocked. I was yeah, shocked. Yeah, it was, it was. I was. I was. It was a great loss. For, uh, yeah. In, in more ways than one, and um, I wasn't completely shocked because I, I was. I've been worried about it. I've been worried about his health. I've been worried about his state of mind. I've been worried about him and how long he could hold, hold up because I saw how. His health had deteriorated, and I was worried about him. So, and I remember when we did our show in Greece, I mentioned to the guys in the, on the plane coming back from Greece. I said, "I don't think the night is going to be able to last much longer in, in this condition that he's in, unless he gets help one more mm -hmm. time." I was really concerned about that. So when he died, I was very sad, of course. But also, his death has also opened up a, a, a door for Crimson Glory to move forward in a way. Mm -hmm. We sort of felt like we were in a kind of limbo, a state of limbo. But we couldn't go forward without him or with him because he was alive, but he was also unhealthy. So we couldn't make a record with him. We didn't really want to make another record without him, but mm -hmm. we were kind of in a state of limbo. Now that, you know, Midnight has passed away, we were left with the, with the decision to either do nothing or to move forward. And I felt in my heart that it was good for us to move forward mm -hmm. because we had the desire to create music still, But I also wanted to help, you know, for Midnight's, Midnight's legacy to continue. I mean, and by going forward, we're going to perpetuate the Crimson Glory music, and we're going to perpetuate the songs that Midnight sang on and help to create that, that legacy to live on even further. And Todd's going to, you know, Todd being such a great singer that he is and able to, to sing the songs that Midnight's done and to do them so well, he is also going to help Midnight's legacy continue and help people remember Midnight and Crimson Glory's music. So... What we're doing is honoring ourselves and Midnight while also trying to, to burn a new path in, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in the realm of metal with Todd and let, and let Todd establish himself as a truly a great singer. And hopefully Todd will become you know, one, of the, one, one of the great legendary metal singers of all time, too, because I feel he has the same skills and ability that Midnight did. Mm -hmm. Now he just has to prove it to the world. And hopefully we can, you know, we can do that together, and we can sustain and give ourselves more longevity. You know, Crimson Glory has already been around for 25 years, yeah. and we still have much music to create. And we still have many new fans that are yet to discover the band. We've been this great mythological, legendary band that some people have, have known for many years, and others have never heard of. Mm -hmm. So, in a way, Crimson Glory is very has a very unique position within the realms of metal history. We, have, yeah. we still have much left to do, and we have many fans to, to learn their respect from them and to have them learn about our music, and Todd will help us do that. Like I had said to Todd before, uh, the way he is performing those, those Midnight classics, that's the correct way to do justice to Midnight. Thank well, you. I, I agree, and it's one of the reasons why we had him do those songs for the YouTube videos, is we wanted our fans, the people of, of Crimson Glory and the fans of Midnight to know that Tyler Torrey 
was going to do the songs justice, and he was going to do the songs the proper way and the only way they should be done. Otherwise, mm-hmm. they shouldn't be done at all. And I wanted the fans to know that Todd understood his position and understood Midnight's legacy and the, and the legacy for Crimson Glory, and that he will do those songs in a way that fans will truly admire and, and respect and, and like to hear. Mm-hmm. And they're also going get to get to hear Todd do his own thing on his own music and his, on, our, on our new album. So it's kind of like a bridge. Todd's going to be the bridge for the past and in the future. And he, um, and he does it himself so well. It's, he's, to me, he was the only guy for the job. Mm-hmm. It, it wasn't another. There's lots of great singers out there that would have liked to have been the singer from Crimson Glory. Mm-hmm. And singers that I think are, are very, very good in their own right. But I wanted to find somebody like Midnight who was an unknown power, an unknown individual who was just waiting to become like a shooting star in his own right. Not yeah. somebody who had already established himself with another band. He, Tyler Torrey comes to Grumson Glory with no baggage, no history. He's beginning his career now, brand new, with Grumson Glory. So you took care of uploading those, those songs to, to YouTube, right? Yes. And how have been the, the, react, the fans' reaction so far? Overwhelmingly, it's been very positive and supportive. Um, you know, I don't really, I try not to read the comments and all that. I don't want to get caught up in all that stuff. That can kind of mess with your head. But, you know, certainly in the beginning, I would, I would read them. And a lot of people, you know, thought it was, you know, They couldn't believe how similar it sounded. Um, you know, overwhelmingly, it's been very positive. I'm very thankful and appreciative. It, that's a hard thing to win over sometimes. Um, you know, mm -hmm. those fans love that band that way with Midnight. And sadly, since he is gone, you know, I really did those. You know, John and I talked about that, about doing those videos. Um, doing record, you know, recording my vocals over them, and I thought, you know, I'm a nobody. Nobody really knows anything about me or who I am. Um, this is really going to be the only way that we felt to to truly show the fans, hey, this guy's not butchering the stuff. He's he's doing everything, you know, he's capturing the essence of Midnight Sound and what really was a staple in in their overall sound was, you know. I'm mean, inside of the songwriting and the guitars and everything else. The vocals, you know, were so important in creating that sound. Mm -hmm. And that, that's why we did them. Some people didn't even believe it. Some people thought, yeah, this is BS. This is midnight. You're not, you, this is not the new guy. It's, it's a smoke screen. But it's that was not. my case. That was my case. I thought at the beginning that it was a joke. Really? <laughs> well, it's, it, it, it's not a joke. And, and when we play. When we play our live shows, I will prove that it's not a joke. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're rehearsing right now for our show in November in Georgia. Um, and everything's going great. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of singers out there that can hit the notes, mm -hmm. um, that can sing higher notes than me. But it's the, it's the emotion and the inflection and the attitude. I mean, I'm, I'm emotionally invested in these songs. I've had a year to immerse myself in Crimson Glory. I didn't know anything about them, but mm -hmm. after listening to them for a year, I mean, I'm not midnight. I mean, there are some things that, you know, that are, you know, my vocal cords are not his, but the overall feeling and vibe and sound of the music is done correctly. And the fans, the fans, I, I believe, are going are gonna to love it. Yeah, I'm I, a fan. I mean, I'm a fan of the music mm -hmm. too. So, and and I, you know, I love it. Yeah, I and, love you know, it. You know, yeah, because unlike you know when we had Wade come in and do that song with the record, you know, he was he was very different to Midnight, and we knew that going in. Um, Jeff and I, when we were writing the Astronomical Record, we knew that Wade was not anywhere in the same realm as Midnight. So we decided to make a record that was different on its own merit. that had its own sound. The singer was able to be himself. I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Wade was not. Wade did not have the, the the skills to emulate Midnight or or to have, or to be able to do that kind of style. It was just not him. Just a different kind of singer, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and to try to do that, it would have been 
would have been not that parallel. 